Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome back to JK's Corner. This is part two of my of an earlier video you would have seen. So I posted a video about the about how to manage yourself during intense heat wave. And this so I decided to record this part two of the video for hijabis specifically. My name is Joke. Thank you for coming on my channel today. So this one I've named it summer hacks for hijabis. This applies regardless of how hot the weather gets through the, the summer months. Um, it's just, you know, during summertime, it's a little bit more tricky for hijabis to, you know, in what they wear. So this is just, this is a video to share with you little tips that would help us in this weather. So at the moment, I've got a New Jersey hijab on. But ideally, when you're going out during this summer months, but it is better for us to wear cotton hijabs or more natural fabric hijabs, you know, like those bamboo, those hijabs made from bamboo fabrics that are quite new now. So those natural fibers, they are more friendly to our skin. That's the first tip. So switch to cotton hijabs because they are more, they are much cooler than the jersey hijabs which are very good for our cooler months tip number two so it's actually better for you not to have the hijab tied so tightly so for example i've got this quite close to my skin but when the weather is quite warm you know quite a bit too warm just wrapping it around and doubling it across you know wearing it in a way that it Put it across rather than throwing it to the back putting it across and then using a pin to secure just here that way you can have it quite loose and it allows circulation of whatever air there is because of of course when the weather is very hot it's hard like, there isn't that much air about to circulate but whatever air there is to circulate that would then get into the cracks if you like of your between your face and the scarf not having your hijab secured too tightly is another tip to help you stay cool during these summer months. Before I go on to tip number three, please don't forget to give me a like on this video. Thank you very much. So tip number three is the underscarf we wear, change them daily because fabrics that are in closer contact to our skin would of course take on our sweat more than the outer fabrics wash your undergarments including your under cap regularly tip number four wash your hair regularly i mean on a weekly basis as a hijabi when the weather is very hot it's very easy for us to sweat in our scalp and that means transmission of the sweat onto our undercap. Tip number five, wear light and loose clothing. So for example, I'll show you a video of this top I'm wearing now. It's very, it's light. And by wearing light and loose clothing, I'm able to ditch any inner wear. This top, for example, is not see-through because of the pattern that's on it. So I can wear it without layering. And of course, we know that layering means reason for us to sweat more. But if you must layer, of course, but bear in mind, you have to wash those on a daily basis. Buy from Muslim owned brands, the summer outfits that they make, because they have you and me in mind, they create it in a way that would be modest enough. So we don't need to worry about adding extra layers as opposed to when we buy from mainstream shops. Another tip is wearing a kimono. So this means you can wear, so when you buy regular, when you buy clothes from, when you buy your loose tops from mainstream shops that do not necessarily have the right coverage for you as a hijabi and you don't want, you don't want to layer underneath. Another good way of having the coverage you desire is wearing a kimono over your dress or over your shirt or carrying wet wipes in your bag. So this is maybe baby wipes. And what do you need this for? So you finished for the day in the office and you remember I said in the previous video, if you haven't watched it by the way, please 
go back and watch that video thank you very much i said that our homes in the uk are not built to, to keep us cool because they are built with winter in mind so our houses are really built to keep the heat in so that means during the summer months when the weather gets really hot it is really 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 hot for us to cope in the weather so, and when you finish working from the office and you're about to step out you know into a public transport please be kind to those you'll be taking public transport with you don't want to go onto a packed bus or tram or train and be smelling so please when you finish working go into your ladies room you know give a quick wipe to your underarm your under boob more sweaty parts of your body and then away you go get on the public transport and you'll be smelling fresh everybody around you would not feel the need to duck and dive because somebody with a stench has just joined so another thing you can easily do is because of the pandemic now a lot of employers have allowed us to do hybrid working so working in the office days working at home days as a hijabi why don't you swap your working at home days on you know in a week if you have very hot days work at home on those hot days that way you don't have to go into the office another good tip is getting in the shower as often as possible or doing your ablution you will do as often as possible to help you stay cool don't forget to share this video with a friend who you know will definitely benefit from it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye